Hai Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are Let's Play Group 24 So for today is our last video to do the review from based on our experience playing for the first game So before we start, my name is Nur Alaywani binti Homo Amran My mattress number is 19213 Hi, my name is Wan Azbi Hanifa binti Wan Ghazali and my mattress number is 191901 Hi, my name is Sarun Chabila binti Wan Ghazali and my mattress number is 192124 Hi, my name is Fatin Nabila bin Ta'ul Fatah. My metric number is 193433. Hi, my name is Natasha Idari bin Ramzi and my metric number is 192002. Um, hi, my name is Lee Pei Hang and my metric number is 201608. Hi, my name is... Hi, my name is Mama Ali. My matrix number is 200242. Hi, my name is Anusha and I'm from Pamela Superman. My matrix number is 203. Okay, now, before we start our video, anyone have an idea that what the game that we have played before? We play four different games. We have Stationery, Web Builder, Undercover, and Spell It Right. So, before we start, do, uh, do you guys have any uh, any admit, admissions or anything that we want to talk about based on the four different types of games? Now, you talk you? so fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you talk so fast. I'm sorry, I, talk, I always talk so fast. So basically, before we start for our, um, our review, 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 I want, uh, I want to ask if you guys have anything to talk about based on the four games that we have before. I think the four games that we have played before uh, are very good for us to improve our vocabularies and also probably like a little bit of grammar. And yeah, so anyone else would like to add? Uh, for me, I think the four games like Patin said, uh, it's good for our vocab and grammar drilling. Uh, but I think for, let's say for the game, the word builder, it uh, helps us to practice like when we see uh, a long word and we will try ourselves to build some words from that alphabet that in the word. So I think it, it's a good game that we can play alone too. So any other reflection point from others? I would like to add on that. I feel like uh, our group, like we had a really good balance of both like uh, like traditional and modern games. In a sense, traditional, you could just use like a piece of paper and a pen. And we had one game where we used the app. So I felt like it was really nice. We had like a variety of games and really uh, took like good use of uh, technology. I mean, the app which uh, existed. Um, yeah, to play games. So I felt like that was really interactive. Yeah, I personally uh, felt like all the games were fun. Um, but I felt like the one that was like most challenging was like word builder because we were given like time constraint and we had to like think like really fast. So I, I felt like that game kind of pushed me like to the competitive edge, I would say. Uh, what what do you guys think about the games which we played? Oh, would you like to add, Natasha? Uh, for me, uh, yeah. for me, when we played undercover game using uh, the apps, uh, it was my first time uh, playing that game, and it's really fun. Um, and I think that game uh need. Uh, especially me, I, uh, I, I, I need to have basic knowledge of the word like virus and you need to explain it. So, and you need to explain it without the, the one, without the words, uh, know that we know the word. You, without, you get what I mean? Without showing it so much. Yeah, yeah I get it. Uh, Cannot let the cat out of the bag, you know. 
So that that's my point of view. <clears throat> In my opinion, about the game that we play, <laughs> we will actually play full game and actually all the game is uh, first, uh, the game is fun and also we get something that useful for ourselves. And then, but for me, uh, Pictionary is the hardest. I don't, I'm, uh, just my point of view lah. Because Pictionary also have the time and also we need to fight uh, between two groups and also need to visualize what kind of word that we want to draw, something like that. But then, overall, I think the four game, the, all the game is very useful and very fun to play. So anyone want to add? Um, for, for me, I think uh, the the undercover is most uh, is the best, most funny one for me because just like Natasha Natasha said before, uh, is the is her first time to play this game. Yeah, same as me. I'm the first time to play this game. I usually see uh, see this game from the internet, like from the uh, TV show, something like that. But that's my first time to play that. I think that's really funny and also really test on our ability to the memories. For example, just like me, I I you I still remember first time I played that game. I can't even remember what what the words I got, and I don't really understand that word. Yeah, so that's very funny and, and also very difficult. For me. Anyone else? Uh, for me, it's always uh, adventurous uh, to play a game that uh, different with our first language. Uh, we all know our first language is uh, Bahasa Pakyu, but this time the game is in English. So uh, it's quite uh, not normal to us because we used to speak Malay all the day. But in this game, uh, we need to change it. Uh, we use English all the time. So the vocabulary, we need to, we need to use a lot of vocab, vocabulary and memorize a lot of words uh, in case to, to play it uh, well. So I think it's uh, quite tough, uh, the game, all the game, all games. But at the same time, we learn a lot. Yeah. So based on the opinion that's been given by all of you guys, I also agree with you guys, but uh, may I ask a personal opinion for one of you? Uh, what is the uh, favorite game and the least favorite game? Uh, <clears throat> mine will be uh, the least, wait, wait. The least will be Spay, right? Which is I'm the Game Master. The best one is, I think, Visionary. For me, uh, the best the best game that I play with you guys is Undercover, uh, because I don't know I like it. Uh, the worst the the game that I don't like is Spell It Right, because I I don't know how to spell. <laughs> uh, for me, I think the best one is. Dictionary, although I don't know how to draw, and the least favorite is spell it right <laughs> because <laughs> I don't like spelling. <laughs> Anyone else? How about you, Lipeha? Which game do you love it? And you love hate it the most. And <laughs> hate the most. It's not hate. It's just like. Um, I think the my favorite one is uh, undercover, just like I said before, and the worst one is um, spelling. I think <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not good at spelling. Yeah. Yeah, because we always uh just pronounce it. We never talk about the what. 
the the spell the spelling yeah <laughs> how about you me, another shot okay for me uh excuse the game uh, the game that I being the game master I love the undercover because yeah it was my first time uh, playing it and the least favorite I think dictionary because I hate drawing. <laughs> How about Ali? Uh, I think the, the the best game I had played is uh, Pictionary. I think because it tests all uh, the vocab and also how to deliver it in other in other way uh, without telling it to our friends and the least game that i like is i think undercover because i don't really understand the game i just follow the flow and wait till it so yeah that's from me how about you anusha so i know earlier i said i enjoyed uh, word builder but i felt like um the game which i enjoyed playing the most uh, would be um uh, up to, uh, undercover, sorry, because I felt like that was the game which had like the most interaction between all of us. Like, you know, if like Pictionary, it was against two teams. Mm. Uh, spell it right also like had like, uh, uh, how to say, not really an interaction, but I felt like Undercover had like an interaction, like more interaction between all of us, you know. It's like flowed out, you know, so I really enjoyed that. The game which I enjoyed, uh, which I least enjoyed would be um, Spell It uh, Right because um, I felt like all the words that they give were like actually everyday words like chrysanthemum, like, you know, you drink the tea and everything. I legit drank the tea like a few hours before coming in. So it was really disappointing and like frustrating after with it was like, um, how come, like, you know, you see these words every day, but yet you don't, you end up not knowing how to, like, spell. So, yeah. it's like, we kind of take easy on the, we kind of take things for granted, like, I would say. So, actually, spell it right was very challenging, but I did not enjoy that because it was frustrating. So, yeah, that's how I feel. And I felt like all this game uh, really helped because at the end of the day, all these are games. And in a game, you're supposed to have fun. So... What a better way to like improve your language skills by like learn, learn by having fun. You know, you're learning it while having fun. So yeah. Yeah, so basically the least one that we got is the spell it right. But I believe that not because we unlike the game or dislike the game, it's because we are poor with spelling. <laughs> that because we're not yes. very good with we're not doing spelling every day. So that's why we not like this game very much. True. So I think the, the most one is will be the visionary and the undercover. Because I believe that visionary are undercover more to fun games than woody games. Like, if, do you agree with my opinion? Yes. yes. So, yes. Yeah. so basically we have come into the conclusions at the end of the video. So to, uh, to come up conclusion, I would like to conclude that there are many ways to play uh, the vocabulary games and English games in that can entertain us rather than we just play uh, just play apps in our phone. It can be uh, in traditional ways and it can be from the modern ways. Anyone want to add that? I, I think this is uh... Uh, this is a very good approach and opportunities for all of us since we can we can learn while play fine it should be less stressful instead of um you know it's being exhausting so anyone else would like to add yeah it's a good thing that we play the games before the pkp so that we can do the review here in in the home and yeah, in the home, in home. Yeah, yeah. Anyone want to add before we end the video? No. Okay. I think that we have 
at the end of the video. Thank you for all the contribution throughout this uh, for 13 weeks. Thank you and good night, good night everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.